First Tech Challenge got started in 2005 as a prototyping tool for FRC teams. At the 2005 World Championship, we ran a competition with the new kit and found that not only did teams want to prototype, they also wanted to compete. This was the first official year of our intermediate challenge between the first LEGO League that's just exploding around the world and the FRC. And FTC looks like it's going to explode and give us an incredible continuum from kids that are just getting into thinking about engineering to kids going off through college and grad school. Everybody inside FIRST is really, really excited about this. By 2007, we had over 500 teams competing in FTC and we we're still in pilot mode. We knew we had to get serious and FTC was born. To move forward, we talked to teams, we talked to technology experts, scientists, people all over the robotics continuum. And from this, we understood what their challenges were. We then talked to commercial partners that had the tools and the components that we needed to put together a kit that would challenge our teams and give them the opportunity to solve real world challenges. First is a microcosm of a real engineering experience because it's a problem too big in a time too short with a budget too small and in fact a team too large. The technology in the new kit lets us really change the game that we can offer to our team. The game this year has more three-dimensional surfaces, it's got a longer autonomous period, that means that teams are going to have to really get into the programming of this robot, and it's going to bounce these robots around. Think of a lunar rover coming down on the moon. Think of a disaster scene. You know what? It'd be better just to show you. Welcome to First Tech Challenge, and this year's game, Face Off. Teams are made up of four players, three humans and one robot. There are two student driver operators and a coach, who can be either a student or an adult mentor. The robot must be constructed of approved materials, so obviously it won't look like this. All robots must fit into an 18-inch sizing cube at the start of the match, but may expand to any size during match play. Each alliance is composed of two teams. Your ally in one match just might be your opponent in another. The game is played on an approximate 12-foot square field of interlocking foam tiles. The field contains two rough terrain areas, consisting of green corrugated panels, as well as two slippery terrain areas composed of PVC pipe rollers. The center scoring area consists of a 36 inch outer square, a 24 inch diameter clear cylinder which is 12 inches tall, and a 12 inch triangular goal 20 inches in height. Each alliance begins the match with one robot in the on-field starting position, where the robot may start in any orientation, and one robot in the off-field starting position, an 18 inch square platform 12 inches off the playing field with a spring-loaded ramp for robots to drop into the playing field. The scoring element is a plastic street hockey puck, three inches in diameter, one inch thick, and weighing approximately 2.3 ounces. At the start of the match, there are eight pivoting puck racks, four for each alliance, spaced around the field with each rack containing eight pucks. In addition to the 64 pucks loaded into the racks, each alliance starts the match with three pucks, with no more than two pucks allowed per robot. And the field also has white striping, which may be useful if your robot has the proper sensors. Each alliance must stand within their alliance station during match play. Matches are divided into two parts, a 30 second autonomous mode, followed by a two minute driver controlled period. If a robot clears the near puck rack in autonomous mode, the alliance receives five points, while clearing a far rack is worth 10 points. And as a bonus, all pucks scored in goals during the autonomous mode will count double if they remain there for the entirety of the match. A puck scored in the outer square is worth one point, each puck placed in the middle circle is worth three points, and a puck in the triangular goal counts five points. Pucks can also be removed from scoring positions in any of the goals. And finally, any robot that is off the field at the end of the match is worth ten points. Teams, don't forget your gracious professionalism. And for the complete rules, please see the Faceoff Game Manual. Good luck, teams. We're really excited about this season. We've got a new kit of parts, we've got a new challenge, 
We've got money to help teams transition. It's a whole new FTC. We'll see you out there.